All right, everyone, welcome back to Jonathan's Coin Toss. It's been a little while, took a little break, not just to get away from podcasting, but because I have new gear and equipment set up for podcasting. Just recently received my PC in the mail. I've been waiting for that, for uh, podcasting, streaming video games, and a lot of other projects coming up. So we have the PC, we have everything else we need. And I'm back at it, and on this week's episode, we're going to talk all things Major League Baseball on today's podcast. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we continue, here's Chelsea to tell you about Anchor. If you don't know what Anchor is, it's an app that is basically the easiest way to make a podcast. And the best part is it's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast so you don't necessarily have to worry about doing all of that. It goes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any other one that you could possibly think about. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So even if you are listening it to you by yourself, you can get paid from it. Everything you need to make a podcast is all in one place in the app on your phone or desktop. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. All right, so baseball is now officially a quarter of the way complete for most teams. And, uh, of course, it being a 60-game season, it's a short one due to the pandemic, of course. And it's been very strange. So many rules have been put in place that you wouldn't normally see at uh, any other season when it comes to baseball. One of them being the the rule for a DH in both leagues now. Of course, it's only an American League. Now it's universal because it's in the National League. So everyone has their opinion on that. And, uh, well, I mean, there is more offense, which is not a surprise to anyone. So there's that. That's good for those that like to see a lot of scoring, a lot of runs. Um, well, I mean, you look at last year, the ball was flying everywhere. Everyone says the balls were juiced, if you will. And therefore, there was a lot more, a lot more uh, higher scoring games. Um, now you add that. The effect that uh, now there's a runner on second base when it's extra innings automatically. A runner's on second automatically for uh, the road team. And if it gets to, or when it gets to the home team, they get a runner on second as well. So it definitely makes things weird and strange and unique. I, I find it interesting to see it in a, a small sample in 60 games. I, you know, growing up, I've always, you know, been used to the. Uh, National League not having a DH designated hitter for those who don't know, <laughs> and the American League always having it. So I enjoy seeing or knowing rather that okay, my pitcher who on my team who may not be great at hitting because there are some good hitting pitchers. At least I know that for now, for the time being, I don't have to worry about that as a fan. And the teams can kind of have their bigger sluggers that aren't maybe great defensively or not fleet of foot not too quick in the outfield or any base or anything at all defensively. So they'll just, they'll just hit. They'll do what they're best doing. Um, but I, I don't know. I still prefer the old school way, national league pitcher batting and then American league DH. But I have a feeling with everything going on, they, they may keep the universal DH rule. I'm going to admit it. I, I think that they're going to do it. Fans are enjoying it. MLB, you know, You always hear the things that they're falling behind in in attendance when there is attendance, when there are fans in the stands. The NFL is uber popular, of course. The NBA is internationally popular. Um, Baseball is America's pastime. That will never change. But money talks right now and history aside and, and, you know, the oldest sport in America and all that and whatnot. I mean, that's irrelevant to these these companies and, and to MLB, they, they're all about the money. Of course, it's another, it's another company doing money things. So wouldn't be surprised if it just sticks. People like it. What can you do if you're a fan of uh, pitchers hitting pitchers who rake? I mean, uh, 
being a Mets fan, I love seeing Thor bat up. He's pretty good at the dish. He's got a couple of home runs here and there throughout the years, and so has Jake DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom, back-to-back Cy Young winner, can hit home runs pretty consistently for a pitcher. The stats speak speak for themselves. So that's why it's exciting. You have a pitcher batting, runner on, or maybe no one or whatever, and he, he gets the job done him, himself. But then you uh, put in the universal DH rule, and that eliminates little exciting things like that. But I guess over time, people may forget about pitchers batting, right? So many rules have changed in the 150 years, whatever it is, that baseball's been in existence. So this could possibly be something else that's just gone and put away for good. So other than the DH rule being universal this season, you have other cases uh, going on. Uh, pertaining to COVID-19. So, of course, teams and, I mean, everyone in general knows social distancing guidelines. Six feet apart, wear your masks, et cetera, et cetera. Don't go out to where you shouldn't be going out to at this time. However, you had three teams that uh, apparently weren't following the guidelines as close as other teams uh, around the league. And uh, and those teams are the uh, Miami Marlins. Down in Miami, they had the outbreak that uh, pretty much – put 20 members or so, 21 members um, uh, that tested positive for coronavirus. And they had the Philadelphia Phillies. They had a couple of staff members as well. But the worst of it, the brunt of it now, out of these three teams, the St. Louis Cardinals, they've had it the worst. They've now had uh, 13 games postponed. They haven't played a game since the end of July, essentially. You would think uh, with everything going on, especially if you're a Major League Baseball player, you're going to you're going to take every precautionary anything told to you to, to avoid get this virus, avoid getting this virus. It's just incredible thinking about it, that you have these athletes that although there are bars open here and there, not all of them, of course, but a lot, especially in Miami and other places, you have teams going out, you have players going out late at night, Instead of staying in their hotels or at home, away from one another or from complete strangers or what have you, they're still going out there and they're jeopardizing the the, uh, the season. You know, sixty games is short, but it's still still a lot of games that have to be played. We're only in August. Today's August the tenth. Still, so still a lot of baseball, though a quarter of it is gone. Still a lot of baseball to be played, and you don't want to be the team or the players really that jeopardize the season in a short season. You have a lot of players that have already opted out. They have the right to do that. They're not penalized. So that's happened throughout baseball. But now you have these three teams just causing havoc and, and causing games to be postponed and, and whatnot. So it's just really, it's really embarrassing. You know, I, I get it. You want to go out. Everyone does. I, I my fiance and I want to travel with, uh, with our daughter and, and our family and, you know, do all sorts of road trips and fly here and there. And we bought all this equipment to uh, kind of do our own little vlogging and whatnot and, and and little things that we have planned that are going to happen eventually. But right now it's just like, well, we just have to stay away. And, and we miss seeing a lot of our family and friends, families and friends. So it's tough. And, and the point is, if you are an athlete, you're getting paid millions and some aren't. Some of them are minor leaguers that might have just made it to the to the show and they want to make a, a living and, and stay in the game, you know, you have to be careful. That goes without saying. You have to take this very serious no matter who you are, how long you've been in the league or not been in the league. And you have to treat this with with the utmost care and respect. And to those around you, there are athletes that have had babies this season with their their wives and you know they're going home with their kids, newborns especially and you know and and, and older uh, siblings as well, older families and grandparents and, and parents and whatever. So it's just it's just mind boggling. Again, these who knows what other players and other teams have uh, have done the same, hung out or gone out. It's just just really bad. So so yeah, again, you've had a lot of games postponed. Some you know the Cardinals haven't played in roughly a couple of weeks. It's just again, it's just a weird year, strange season, and now we have to hope that. Everyone uh, abides by the guidelines here and we can actually 